Welcome back to y'all hearing this. My name is Kay. Thank you so, so much for coming and joining us. I am excited about this. So every week I've been doing a second look at some guides for groups that, you know, maybe have done a guide before, but, um, uh, you know, maybe shorter form or um, you guys suggested different ones or things like that. And this week I'm getting back into Icon, uh, so which I am very, very excited about. I really like everything I've heard from them so far, um, but definitely need to do a much, much, much deeper dive. Um, I know they recently parted ways with YG, but they're still together. Just, um, you know, uh, did they start their own label? I think that's what happened. But anyway, uh, so this is an, a guide to Icon 2023, so I'm not sure how, how updated this is, um, but let's find out. I almost pressed play without doing that. So there we go. <laughs> Icon. Icon is a six-member South Korean band under 143 Entertainment, okay. mostly yep. known for making hip-hop and R&B music, although their discography is one of the most varied in a group of its kind including ballads, pop, rock, and many other musical styles. But let's go back in time and know a little bit of their history. Icon debuted as a seven-member group. Six of the members originally participated in YG Entertainment's I'm start that on survival Patreon. show Win. Who is next? Two weeks from now. In 2013, a show that was created for the purpose of forming the K-pop group winner. They represented Team B and lost in that show to Team A. Some time later, in 2014, YG Entertainment created the survival show Mix and Match to create the group icon. Team B joined this show to debut and three trainees were added to the competition. From the beginning of the show, the only three members who would have a guaranteed spot in Icon were announced, Kim Hanbin, Kim Jinwon, and Bobby. At the same time the original members from Team B became the opening act for Big Bang oh, nice. in the Japan Dome Tour X, Team B also participated in YG Family World Tour 2014. In 2015, Icon's official debut with all original members from Team B plus one more member was announced and they debuted with the digital single My Type on September 15, 2015. Oh, Rhythm Ta was like right at the beginning. Weeks gotcha. later, they released Rhythm Ta. During their debut, they won many awards as rookies, not only in South Korea but also won the same award in Japan and China. At the end of 2015, they became the second group in the history of K-pop to win Rookie Grand Slam, an award given to groups that win the top Rookie That's Award awesome. in the five major prestigious music awards in Korea. Due to their success and popularity, they started their tour in Asia in less oh, wow. than a month after their debut and That's had their amazing. first Japan Dome tour only one year and nine months after debuting, making them the fastest group to do so. Wow. In 2018, they released their second full album Return, which included the song Love Scenario that quickly grew in popularity, but the biggest success would come after making an emote and amp skin collaboration with Fortnite and Samsung, when member Magne Chanwu was invited to give his image for a skin in the video game. Love Scenario became a massive hit not only in the K-pop community, but to a wider audience that still chants the I can't song to this day. I remember if I've actually seen the MV for that, but that I've heard it a million year, times. That same year, they won multiple awards including Song of the Year at the Melon Music Awards and performed at the closing ceremony of the prestigious Asian Games 2018. On June 12, 2019, member and former leader, B. I. Kim Hanbin, left the group and the agency after a personal scandal. Icon continued their journey as a six-member group. In 2020, the group made the third mini-album I Decide. In 2021, they joined the survival yep. program Kingdom, Legendary Kingdom War, and released them. the digital single YYY. Kingdom, what an amazing freaking show. Might still be my favorite. In 2022, um, survival they released show I've seen. their fourth mini album Flashback and their first original Japanese song Your Voice. After a Japan tour and some individual activities, the contract termination with YG Entertainment came. On December 30, 
2022, YG Entertainment announced that Icon would leave the agency as a group after deciding not to renew their contracts. On January 3, 2023, 143 Entertainment welcomed them, announcing the group's first projects, which included a solo release for Bobby and the first world tour for Icon. On May 4, 2023, Icon released their third full album Take Off and started their world tour, Take OFF World Tour 2023, which took them to various countries in Asia, Europe, and USA. On August 13, 2023, they released their special double single Panorama and TTM being Icon's last songs as a six-member group, since Gene Wan had to enlist for military service. This same year 2023, YG Entertainment completed the transfer to members of all rights to 13 trademarks including music, logo, SNS, and more. That's awesome. I'm glad they were able to Icon keep all their now owned by trademarks the six and Icon everything. members. Icon fandom is called Iconic and the light stick is known as Conda. I keep meaning to get one because there those are, are three cool. versions of the light stick, the first two created <laughs> under YG Entertainment, both of which are bright red. The third was created by the members themselves under 143 Entertainment and is white in color, but keeps its red color when turned on and oh, changes nice. color only under the control of the staff at the group's concerts, mainly for solo performances. <laughs> I love that. I love going to a show and everyone sings for them. It must mean so much to them, too. I love this song. Currently, Icon's musical discography is in charge of the members as well as the A and AMP, E, planning, stage management and other things they do with the support of the staff. In addition, some members also maintain agreements and or contracts with other agencies for their individual activities in collaboration oh, cool. with their current agency. Let's get to know the members. Yes, I need to know all of their names again. I mean, Bobby, obviously, I know. <clears throat> Kim Jean Wan was born on February 7th, 1994, artistically known as Jay, although Iconic prefers to call him Jean Wan or Nanny. <laughs> he has the role of Icon's leader and is the main vocalist and lead dancer of Icon. He also participates as producer, stage co-director, and creative director. He is a soloist and musical theater actor. Oh, nice. He was born in Jeju and was originally interested in learning languages, so as a child he lived in the Philippines for a while to study but returned to Korea because he missed his family and had a new dream. He moved from Jeju to Seoul on his own and started studying at SM Academy for vocal training. Oh, nice. The director of the academy thought his voice <coughs> tone and performance was similar to Big Bang's Taeyang, so she suggested an audition at YG Entertainment. In January 2011, he joined YG, becoming the second member of Team B. During the show, he was also in charge of directing and monitoring Team B's vocal skills. So a leader in even the same then, year, that's cool. He graduated from Korea Cyber University in the Faculty of Visual Arts in the Entertainment Department and has been mentioned among the most outstanding students. When he started Mix and Match, he became one of the three official members of ICON, yet he remained in the survival show as one of the team leaders. In many of the rounds, he was praised for his dance lines and voice tone. <laughs> His vocal technique has a solid power, he achieves mastery of low and high tones, also falsetto, and can sing in different genres from R&B to hip-hop. He also occasionally does some rap singing verses. As a dancer, he is recognized as one of the best in Icon for his technique and clean execution, and because of his agility, balance, and lightness, most of the time he is in charge of the acrobatics. Jean Wan is credited in some songs of Icon. He usually co leads the stages, <coughs> recording, and was nicknamed Icon's Idea Bank for his <laughs> contribution nice. to the creative direction. Naturally, no official announcement was needed when they became a six-member group in 2019 and he took the role as Icon's leader. In 2022, he had his musical theater debut in Dracula. He received good reviews from the audience, 
Previously, he had participated in a live radio musical style on air. In the same year, he joined the show The Indonesian Next Big Star first season with his bandmate DK as a judge and mentor. In 2023, his solo fan club and promotions page in Japan was announced. I don't think I've he heard any of his solo, solo contract stuff with though. JX Entertainment Agency Definitely and launched some his representative character JIU, a orange fox that has a heart under his eye, just like the one he owns. <laughs> Although he has not yet announced the official name for his fans, they call themselves Wanik. By mid-2023, <laughs> he had a plan for solo promotions balanced to Icon's world tour, but he received the announcement of enlistment to military service, so he had to cancel his first solo tour in Japan. Two days before enlisting for military service, he released his five-track LP Blue Moon. He participated in the design and creative direction. He was also credited on several of the songs. Oh, I'll have to check this out. On the same day of the release, he had his first solo fan meeting, J Final Live The Blue, which was also available live online for overseas fans. On July 21st, 2023, he became the first ICON member enlisted in the Korean military service and will be discharged around April 19th, 2025. Six things you should know about Jin Hwan. He was the third member to appear in King of Masked Singer. Oh. He has been used to taking care of stray dogs since he was young so he has participated in various activities related to stray dog protection. He worked in an ice cream shop when he moved to Seoul. <laughs> he is multilingual. Besides Korean, she can speak at different levels. Japanese, English, oh, nice. Chinese, Filipino, and recently told of his interest in learning Spanish. He I is love the languages, member with the largest number of tattoos. He has English. about 13 tattoos. He has practiced several sports, swimming, taekyun, jiu-jitsu, table tennis, golf, and surfing. <laughs> I fell Kim in love Jowen so hard with Bobby on, on Kingdom. 21st, love him. 1995, and is known as Bobby. He is the main rapper, lyricist, producer, and vocalist of Icon and has a successful solo career that has established him as one of the best rappers of his generation. He was born in Korea but immigrated to the United States yeah. when he was in elementary school, so he is fluent in English. At the age of 15, he returned to Korea on his own after passing an audition for YG Entertainment in 2011. He was the third member to join Team B. After Team B lost in Win Who Is Next, in 2014, he joined Korea's top rap TV competition Show Me The Money 3. During this period, Bobby received a lot of criticism from his fellow competitors as they were not happy with his status as an <laughs> idol trainee and <clears throat> underestimated him. But his rap, energy, and charisma made him the champion of the third season, I achieving two won, records yeah. in Show Me the Money by being the youngest winner of the show at 18 years old and the only rap idol to win until today. <laughs> At the same time, he participated in the survival show Mix and Match, where he was one of the three insured members of Icon and one of the team leaders, who had to guide the rest of the trainees in the show. Before Icon's debut, he filmed a commercial for Sprite. <laughs> in the same year, he graduated from the entertainment department of the Cyber University of Korea. In 2016, he formed a hip-hop duo with winner main rapper Mino oh, nice. called M.O.B.B. and released his first solo song, Hollop. I love Mino. In 2017, he released his first full album, Love and Fall. And in 2021, he released his second full album, Luck I know Man. we put out at least a single as Fall, too, last fall. His music style is very versatile, and in his music he has managed to prove that he can also be an excellent vocalist. <laughs> On 
Although he has been credited in almost all of Icon's discography as a co-lyricist, in 2022 he decided to make his first full song for Icon, a hip-hop track called Dragon. Nice! Oh, Bobby has multiple collaborations with artists. This 2023 added many other collaborations, such as his single Drowning Foot Soul and more recent one <laughs> included in his mini-album Robert. This album includes the song F, yes. which is estimated to be one of the songs where the word F asterisk asterisk is said the most in a hip-hop song. <laughs> In this 2023, he made his first Japan tour and his first solo concert in Korea with much success. This year, he also produced music for the show Queendom Puzzle, for his bandmate Jean Hwan, mentored at MNET Boys Planet, and became a judge for the second season of the Indonesian Next Big Star alongside his bandmate DK. In 2023, he announced the official name of his solo fandom, which he calls S. A.R. He also launched his own character, it is a skull-shaped rabbit, which he calls Tet. <laughs> For his solo activities he works with the Japanese company The Production, which belongs to the former Japanese icon manager. 6 Things You Should Know About Bobby He can play drums. He, he really is so in talented. The League of Legends 2018 World Championship song remix Rise and became the first Korean solo artist to take the opening stage of League <laughs> of Legends World Championship Finals 2018. He has four tattoos, dedicated to his family and his faith in God. He is one of the shyest members, despite his aggressive appearance on stage. In Korean, the word Bobby and Barbie are spelled the same. <laughs> in August 2021, he announced on his Instagram account that he would marry his non-celebrity girlfriend and that they would that have a so son much. who was born in September of the same year. Iconic celebrated the news with him. He has my favorite voice. Koo Jun Ho was born on March 3, 1997. In the music world, he is credited as J U N E. Although Iconic prefers to call him Jun Ho, he is Icon's main vocalist, lyricist, and producer. He also has a promising career as an actor and poem writer. Oh, nice. His That's passion cool. for music started when he was a child when he became a fan of Michael Jackson to the point of collecting fan items <laughs> and practicing his choreography. When he was in the sixth grade of elementary school, he first appeared on TV dancing to Michael Jackson's songs and later participated in the first season of K-pop star. He auditioned for YG Entertainment as a dancer, but as the months went by his voice developed in an amazing way. Yeah, he has this amazing tone. By the time he joined Wynn, who was next with Team B. Eventually, he secured his place in Icon during the survival show Mix and Match as one of the main vocalists, receiving hundreds of praises for his powerful voice. <laughs> Junho has a wide vocal range and a voice register that allows his to adapt to various genres, especially rock. His voice has become one of the most unique in K-pop thanks to his husky and powerful tone that could hardly be replicated. His dance style has also captured many people because of his flexibility and clean footwork. He was the second icon member to participate in the legendary show King of Mask Singer. In 2022, after a question from a fan, he decided <laughs> to call his solo fans his Cosimos. He has participated in some icon compositions as Rhythm Ta, but it was in 2023 when he finally made his first full song for the group, credited as main lyricist and main producer. Like a Movie is a ballad belonging to the album Take Off and highlights the vocal skills of all the members with a much rawer sound than usual. On that same album, he also released his first solo song. Want You Back, which he often performs live on guitar.
I really like that this guy shows me like, of his songs have not the been released, albums and everything too. On his Instagram account. Junho usually writes poems and often shares them through his Instagram account. In 2019, he released an audiobook of poems called We Could Spend Rainy Days Together, and it was available on VLive. Later, it was also released on Weverse in 10 languages. It has developed a wide taste in sports, practicing karate, jiu-jitsu, golf, and working out at the gym. His interest in developing a career in acting started since debut, but in 2021 he started taking acting classes, achieving his expected debut in 2023 in the drama Bora Debra. He also had a special appearance in the drama Twinkling Watermelon. <laughs> I love the names of some of these. <laughs> he owns four <laughs> solo songs, including two Oast from the dramas he has worked on and a collaboration with Soul Beisel. Six things you should know about Junho. He is good at rejecting fans. <laughs> he graduated from the Faculty of Visual Arts at Gukt Cyber University in 2017. He can speak fluent Japanese and is learning English. Has the most unpredictable personality of all the members. He has a song called Deep Night featuring with Bobby. The track is only available on YouTube. Oh, cool. He once almost drowned in a swimming pool, but he was saved by his bandmate Yun Hyung. Song Yun Hyung was born on February 8, 1995, artistically known as Song. He is a vocalist, center, and visual lead of Icon. He is also known as a YouTuber and model, as well as being recognized for his cooking skills. He joined good to YG have someone in, in the April group 2012 with the idea of becoming an actor, but his coaches saw potential in him to become an idol. That is why in 2013 he was part of Team B that participated in the survival show Win, who is next. Although he did not initially have an assigned position on the team, during mix and match he stood out as a powerful vocalist. Remember the name like song? As a dancer he went out of his way to demonstrate his rhythmic skills, surprising even in acrobatic dancing. Today he is considered by many fans as Icon's <laughs> third best dancer. His modeling career started after he debuted. In 2016 he was selected as an exclusive model for Nivea and did some commercials, thanks to his success in 2017 Nivea decided to sign contract with all Icon members. In the same year, he had his <laughs> first solo him, photo shoot with Dazed have. and participated in some variety shows like The Law of the Jungle. His parents have a restaurant so the taste for gastronomy runs in the family, but he became interested in cooking after debuting, mm -hmm. when he noticed that they didn't use to eat healthy or homemade meals. In 2019 he created his YouTube channel Song oh, nice, Guide, like a Michelin where he shares guy. mostly cooking videos, vlogs and ASMR. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he gave official name to his fandom, Sorry. which he calls Songnim. Her culinary skills have been recognized by Korean Food Promotion Institute, Ministry of Agriculture and the Korean Cultural Institute. Thanks to that, he has also participated in food-related variety programs such as Sea Chef, Sin Sun No Lem and Yuri's Winning Recipe. He usually works out a lot in the gym, mainly enjoys cycling and other sports. During 2022, he was appointed as a public relations ambassador of Hanum City, his hometown. Very in cool. 2023, he released his first solo song fighting in Icon's third full album, It is a Song of Trot Genre, a popular genre in Korea, which has become the center of attention in Icon's concerts and has branded him as the showman of the group. He has an Trot is so much voice, fun what I've heard of it. to convey the lyrics regardless of the language barrier through his high notes. In mid-2023, 
mid-2023 he began preparations with the Japanese management agency the production for his solo activities, in conjunction with 143 Entertainment. Six things you should know about Yun Hyung. He is considered as the hidden leader of ICON, as he is usually the one who encourages the members and the one who takes care of their physical condition, mainly the Magne line. He is <laughs> nicknamed Prince by fans due to his elegant aura and mannerisms. For example, he always bends 90 degrees before anyone else. In 2021, he was one of the online instructors in a special cooking class at the Korean Cultural Institute in Italy. He has a very close relationship with his family and often shows it on his YouTube channel. Love Everyone that. says he is the hardest working member, practicing overtime the songs and choreographies. During the ICON concerts in 2022, he performed his first solo trot genre song <laughs> called Clicky PPA. However, the song was never released on the platforms, even though he told that the song was created two years before. <laughs> It's almost like a, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um pa pa kind of <laughs> music, you know? Kim Dong Hyuk, born on January 3rd, 1997, is credited as DK in the music industry. He is the main dancer, vocalist, producer, lyricist, and choreographer of Icon, also often co-leading group stages. Dong Hyuk has formed a career as a radio DJ, model, and fashionist. As a child he lived for a few months in Atlanta, Georgia where he became interested in dance. He returned to Korea he entered Deaf Music Academy to learn dance. A few months later he was recruited by SM Entertainment and a month later by JYP Entertainment. He won the first place in the 9th JYP Open Audition in 2012. Days later, he received a private casting request from YG Entertainment and huh? in December 2012, he joined Team B and participated in Win Who Is Next. Later, he joined Mix and Match, standing out for his coordinated dance, smooth voice and piano skills during the competition and finally became the last member selected to join ICON. <laughs> From the beginning he has stood out for his clean dance lines and freestyle, which have led to dance collaborations with professional dancers as the Kin Jazz. He has co-choreographed for icon songs such as Killing Me, Flower, Tantara and more. He is regularly in charge of falsetto and higher notes in the group, excelling notably in genres such as ballad and R&B. He can also rap and sometimes That's seriously the one of my favorite songs. Some <laughs> verses. I love like 80s sound. In 2020, he created his first full song for Icon, called Flower, included in the mini album I Decide. Flower is considered by most fans as the song with the biggest impact on the fandom, as it was the one that marked the beginning of the regrouping with six members. He is currently one of the main producers of Icon's discography and often directs recording of the songs. For 2023, he worked on several songs on the album Take OFF, including the pre release Tantara. He also Take participated as a composer on his bandmate Jinawan's debut album. The most recent song he made for Icon was TTM. In the same year, he released his first solo song Kiss Me in Icon's Take Off album. <laughs> Decided to name his solo fan base as Day Crew. Crew. I love that. He has managed to have a wide <clears throat> list of participation as a radio host. Most prominent is possibly EBS Radio's Coexistence Diary, a radio show focused on sustainability and the environment, a cause he actively works for. Fashion is also part of his interests. 
He debuted as a model on the runway at New York Fashion Week 2022 for the Korean brand UL, KIN. He also designed a limited collection of clothing in collaboration with the same brand under the name Iconic Smile. Dancing has always been his biggest passion, that's why in 2023 he formed a dance crew called SLAN9 together with other professional dancers and choreographers. Six things you should know about Dong Hyuk. He was a top student and class president. <laughs> He was the fourth and last member to participate in the King of Mask Singer Show. EK is his stage name and it is an abbreviation of Dong Hyuk, and it also means Dancing King and Dirty Kid, but his birth name was Dog Dong. <laughs> he changed it because it made him laugh. Yeah. He has collaborated with Bobby several times in songs like Secret, Surf and You Are Soul, You Are Body. So far, he is the only icon member with credits as an arranger in Kamka. Huh. Although he is not an actor, he has surprised with his acting in some pranks played between members. <laughs> Young Chanwu was born on January 26th. 1998 and is artistically credited under the name Chun, although Iconic prefers to call him Chan Wu. He's the one who's like friends with everybody, an actor, icon. right, I believe? He also yeah. has an established acting career and is a YouTuber. His artistic career starts at the children's talent agency Kids Planet, where he was an active child actor and model since 2005. In 2006, he appeared in TVXQ's music video Balance as the child version of Max Changman. <laughs> in the following years, he was also part of series and movies such as <gasps> was he in and Boys, Over Flowers? Boys Over Flowers and Sweet Lies. In May 2010, he joined Fantajo, and it was there that his career as a child actor took off even more as he was part of well-known drama productions such as The Heirs, where he played the young versions of actor Lee Min Ho. <laughs> <laughs> In May 2014, he joined YG Entertainment and just two months after being a trainee, he joined the survival show Mix and Match, competing for a spot. So in he was the one that got added, that's cool. From the start, the producers were pleased with his performance. <laughs> Chan Wu is the only icon member who did not participate in Win Who Is Next, so at first he had a little less experience as a singer than the other members. However, his accelerated learning ability and agility on stage led him to become one of the icon members. In 2018, he created his YouTube channel Chan Wu Sari and gave an official name to his fandom Chang Gus. <laughs> on his YouTube channel, he usually shows videos directly related to video games, sports, pranks, or vlogs. In that same year, he collaborated with Fortnite, providing his image for a limited version skin inspired by him. Love Scenario became the emote of the game and was only available for customers who had the Samsung Galaxy S10. That's cool. In 2022, he returned to acting, starring in the comedy horror My Chilling Roommate alongside friend Sowin and held his first solo fan meeting to promote the film in Japan. His leading role was nominated in the preliminaries of two categories at the Blue Dragon Awards 2022 as Best Actor and Rookie of the Year. He is usually in charge of the bridges for Icon's songs, but on occasion he can also do the rap melodic or introductory verse. Despite having few lines it is easy to perceive the texture of his harmonious voice that manages to adapt to different styles, mainly those parts of the songs where the voice is the one who guides the melody, example, Goodbye Road, like a movie in gold. Yeah. 
그토록 사랑하지 말걸 그랬나 봐요 Six things you should know about Chon Woo. He is a baseball fan, especially of the Korean team LG Twins. He has thrown out the first pitch of two games for them and is very popular among the LG Twins fans. He is nicknamed as Mogne on top because he often teases the older members. <laughs> I feel like all the Mognes are like he that. He cannot eat spicy food. He is usually the most reserved member, so there is not much personal information about him. He has very good pronunciation in Chinese language. He is nicknamed Twin Monsters with his <laughs> bandmate Song Yun Hyung because yeah, some people find resemblance between them. Icon is a group with a diverse discography and their contribution to the Korean industry continues to be recognized to this day. 2024 will be a year full of surprises and although the Korean military service enlistment era has begun, all the members have promised to keep making music as soloists and as a group. That was great. That was a really good guy. Um, sometimes you don't know going in. <laughs> I think I picked it because it was the most up to date. But yeah, no, that was a really great guide. I liked how they broke it down. Um, not only about my member, but did tell a little bit about the group themselves too. I am really, really looking forward to watching the win who is next. Um, I love both winner and icon, so it's going to be so much fun to just kind of get to know them a little bit better, like personally. Uh, that's the really fun part of like the, the survival shows for me, anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to start that in a couple weeks. So I hope you join us. We always put up the first episode for free over on our Patreon. So I'll put a pub post over here. Um, and you can go over there and join for free as well and watch first episode shows, anything like blocked on YouTube, stuff like that. So links in the description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I definitely did. I, it's so funny, like I know them, but I don't know them. Do you know what I mean? So this was great to kind of get a little more in depth and get their names again and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much as always for coming and checking this out. Love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.